This video is brought to you by Bella Canvas. The innovators behind Black Heather and Fast Fashion just launched their very own YouTube channel. What's up? And today we are going to talk about stock art and clip art. Some people have a problem. They don't know exactly what it is. So today I'm going to break it down. The video starts right now. All right, guys, I had no idea that there, there were people who were having an issue with stock art and clip art, what it was, what it's not. And I think that I could be a little bit to blame because um, a while back I came out with a product, an awesome product, that is stock art and clip art. It's called the T-Shirt Elements, a fantastic collection of stock art and clip art. By the way, stock art, clip art, pretty much the same exact thing. That term can be used interchangeably, all right? So, I called it the T-Shirt Elements System originally, and I think the term system kind of threw people off. A lot of people thought that it was a software like you know you get it and you can actually make graphics with it no boo boo it goes like this it is files that you can use with desktop publishing software i.e photoshop illustrator uh corel draw inkscape and the gimp okay you use these files with these programs or in these programs okay stock art clip art and t-shirt element system is not software in of itself does that make sense just in case um let's go to the video tape i'll show you roll that beautiful bean footage all right guys okay so we're on the new t-shirt help desk.com and this is the um the page for uh, t-shirt element stock art and if you look this is the um, you can you know come in and play the videos uh, this is a sales video these old ones you know it still says system uh, this one I actually designed some really cool stuff with it uh, and you can see oh wow that one's starting to play and you can uh, see I give some information you can see right here uh, no more system it just says clip art and stock art okay and it's compatible with uh, Adobe Illustrator of course Photoshop Corel draw Ins Inkscape and GIMP um, Corel draw is uh, uh, very popular not as popular as these but it's a popular um, art uh, application and these right here these are open source um, what some people might call uh, Inkscape the 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 poor man's uh, Adobe Illustrator because it's free um, you, can, you can get it free online and GIMP is the poor man's um, Photoshop I work with these because these are industry standards I've been doing it you know working with these for years so that's just what I um, rock with uh, you can use these but I, I, I prefer these and guys these days Illustrator is not and, and Photoshop and the whole uh, system including Illustrator stock art system it's not or stock art I don't want to say system it's not this stuff is not expensive for one low price you can get all this stuff I'm going to put that in the um, description box so here we go. So what I'm going to do is just kind of show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. I'm going to open up Illustrator. Oh, you can see that right there. And uh, this. What's up, guys? Just on a little side note, um, just to let you know, this is not just me showing my stuff. Uh, Adobe, you know, same people brought you Photoshop and Illustrator. They also have stock. OK. And uh, if you go down. Right here, you can see they have, I mean, images, they have videos, 4K uh, videos, photos, vectors, illustrations. Okay, let's let's click right here. 
and um, you can just see some stuff. But let's just go in and let's do a search. Uh, search. Let's put in illu uh, illustration. Um, but we're going to put an illustration skulls just like we just like uh, I'm going to do skulls and uh, I'm going to go into uh, illustrations and all do a search and look look at all this awesome stuff that you get I mean skulls and skulls for days now of course I got I have skulls and skulls for days but look at all these illustrations that you can use man of just skulls I mean you know and this is just skulls okay it goes on and on and on you can put in damn near anything. So I just wanted to kind of sh show you this. This is Adobe Stock. I'm going to put a link in uh, down in the description box. And also, just like everything, man, you know, Adobe itself is not very expensive. It goes low as just $9.99 a month, man. It's, it's really, really something great to, to use. Okay, so just wanted to throw that in there for you. And uh, all the links for all this stuff is going to be down in the, in the description box. Okay, back to the video. This is just like, uh, hold on, let's get this. Let's get this bad boy going. Let's move this stuff around. We can get a page going. Come on, come on. Move, move, move. Okay, and I believe that we have the system over here. There's so, I mean, so much stuff. Well, let, let me go back over here real quick. And you can just go down here and you can see how much, I mean, different things. Trees, surfing skates, stars, skulls, shapes, uh, ornamental uh, flourishes, paint splatter, uh, religion and spirituality. Um, I mean, the occult, miscellany. I mean, this miscellaneous thing is full of so much stuff. Have tones, leaves, griffins, food and drink, fleur de lis and flowers, uh, faux tees, sports, Egyptian comedic, distress patterns, QC girl. I mean, got cars, crowns, at butterflies, African stuff, animals, and dinkra symbols. Ban I mean, it lists. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Anyway, guys, um, let's just do something really quick to show you something uh, oh boy let's make a really quick something here using something oh uh, let's go to skulls okay let's go to skulls skulls always work um, and you can see right here pings you can use if you wanted to use in Photoshop EPS works pretty much in any program uh, especially Illustrator, you can use I Illustrator and EPS or Corel or a whole bunch of stuff. You, they have Corel files and I have the straight Illustrator files. So let's open up some of these bad boys. Oh, look at all these skulls, man. So this is what I mean by, um, how can I put it? Elements and clip art you see this is not a system in of itself you're in illustrator but you can take something like this and do something with it so let's see uh, should I use that one uh, yeah let's use that one copy paste and uh, we got this bad boy. Is there anything behind? Okay, we got that. All right, and let's just say no. Let's just get around it. Actually. All right, good. Mu good. Oh, G O D. Music. All right. 
and I'm going to use a uh, font here. I'm going to use porn, porn star cat. And I'm going to take this. I mean, this is just something real quick. I'm going to object, and I'm going to. Oh, if you want to know Illustrator, I have Illustrator tutorials, and we're going to go to envelope this stort, and we're going to go make with. Uh, Warp. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to, on the bottom, till I die. Now, you can go right here. You can put heavy metal till I die. You can put hip hop till I die. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever you want. I mean, and, and, and look how simple that is, guys. That's a t-shirt. But let's just say you wanted to add a little bit of something, something to this, okay? Um, let's go back. Into uh, elements over here. And let's just say you wanted to uh, add a little paint splatter, okay? There's so much paint splatters here. It's this we got a couple of these little paint splatters over here. Okay, I'm gonna copy those. Come back. Let them go. We're gonna make them all black. like a one color tee. You're just going to add them here to just make them look like they just kind of, you know, kind of fell on here. A little something, something. All right. So now you got something like that, you know, because it's Halloween. Well, it was Halloween. And I'm going to distress this. I want to, I want to distress this. So let's go back. Let's go see if we can find our distress. Okay. Distress in background, okay? Uh, let's see here. Open one of those up. Okay, let's okay, let's take that one. Copy that. And we just take that. And we put it right on top and then boom, add a color to that. And that bad boy is distress I mean that's what I mean when I say and I mean I just threw this together really quick but that's what I mean when I say you can use these elements of clip art and put something together so that's that I hope that makes sense guys I just wanted to show you a little something something and this is what I did in Illustrator you can work this in Photoshop you can work it in Corel draw you can work it in GIMP Inkscape it works in everything but it's not you work the artwork and you put them together little elements okay and you work them inside of your program it's not a program itself okay back to me talking peace all right guys so i hope that kind of breaks it down i hope it makes sense um you can it's it's not in of itself guys you use stock art and you know, old school clip art to make graphics. You can use them and put them all together and make something uh, fantastic, okay? And if you wanna get it, go ahead and get it. The T-shirt element system, it is fantastic. Or you can use any uh, stock art and clip art. You can also use Adobe, they have it. I'm gonna put a link for it in the description box. I personally like uh, Photoshop and Illustrator uh, and that's that's what I think you should use because they are the industry standard there's also you can get all of those for one little low price uh, every month and the stock art or you, and you can get t-shirt elements all this good stuff anyway guys I hope you learned something I just wanted to this this video has been in the making for a while I just kept putting it off and putting it off finally I made it happen captain so until next time, guys, do something good for somebody. If you can't find anyone to do something good for, you always have yourself. Do something good for you. Cheers to your t-shirts as usual. Peace and blessings. 
I'm gonna put some butter on these shoes and slide on out the door. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Hey, look, guys, there is an awesome company called Bella Canvas, all right? And just like me, they have a YouTube channel, a fantastic YouTube channel that gives you tips, tricks, everything you need to know about how to start a t-shirt business stuff on DTG machines, all the stuff that I give you and then stuff and then some. So if you like this channel, you are going to love their channel. Their links are also in the description box. I believe there's a car right over here, right at the, at the top little thing up there. Okay. And uh, check them out until next time. Once again, peace.